Hello there, this is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. It is Tuesday, March the 29th, 2022. Welcome to my channel. I would just like to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I do appreciate you watching and I appreciate you subscribing. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? It really does help my channel. It helps me grow, and over 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you do like my video, could you please like and subscribe? Thanks very much. How are you doing today, Virgo? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you, vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Virgo. Spirit. Bottom of the deck, a passionate message. First card out. The judgment, karma. Uh, we got this weird, creepy bird thing here. We got these four people. They're dressed up for a funeral. These two look like they have tattoos. And actually, the women do too. There's this um, child jumping out of this coffin. This is talking about karma. The judgment. What is crossing this? The Ten of Swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This talks about the end of a painful cycle. This is like being stabbed in the back ten times. End of a painful cycle. But the good thing about Ten of Swords is this is as bad as it's going to get. And from here on in, in, it's getting better. Moving on to a new cycle. Better times. Consciously known. The Eight of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Eight of Wands. This is new passionate communication. Usually a rapid. Uh, text messages flying through the air. Messages on social media. Messages on dating sites. Also, you could be at a distance from the person you are interested in. Either geographically or emotionally. Passionate messages. Unconscious. The hangman. The hangman. The hangman talks about meditation, spirituality, being caught between a rock and a hard place, dark night of the soul. And sometimes we need to look at things from a brand new perspective in order to figure them out. Um, this card is kind of stormy looking it looks like there's a storm coming he is holding on to the hangman's tree his head is literally detached from his body kind of looks like a bullet hole there um you are caught between a rock and a hard place why 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 recent past somebody wants to bring drama into your life five of pentacles Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have got one, two, three, four, five green skulls here. Someone is playing a major pity party. Poor me, poor me. I need your help. I don't have anyone to turn to. I need a ride. Um, I need more money. Pity play, pity play. Near future. The Empress, the Empress, this is Libra and Taurus energy, the Empress. She is independent, self-sufficient, divine feminine, maternal, goddess energy. That's a, that, that's a lot. Um, she is always birthing new ideas. If you're pregnant, congratulations. If you don't want to get pregnant, take the proper precautions. She is sitting in her throne. She is sitting in her power. Gorgeous throne it is too. She knows her worth. She does not get out of her throne for anybody or anything. She is independent, self-sufficient, divine feminine, maternal, goddess energy. 
She has got her scepter. She's got her fan. Um, she always thinks about new things. New things. Where do you find yourself? The Knight of Wands. Oh, you were dealing with a player. Well, this makes sense with the pity play. With the pity play, Knight of Wands. Knights are immature. They really are. They are um, less mature versions of kings and queens. So the Knight of Wands is a player. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wands talk about passion. He has got his wand here. He's got a red sombrero, a red coat. This kind of, I don't know, one piece suit thing. Um, he's good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy and exciting. But he spreads his wand all over town, male or female, player, play at energy. External influences. The king of swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. King of Swords is all about honest, clear communication. If you do not bring the King of Swords honest, clear com communication, he will use that sword and he will cut you right out of his life. He makes head over heart decisions. King of Swords will cut out this player energy and this pity, pity, pity person. If you are honest and clear with the King of Swords, you will be very loving and very loyal. But if you are... Dramatic or a player, King of Swords is cutting you out of his life. This is yellow card, swords are yellow in this deck. Hopes and or fears. It's toxic energy, toxic energy here. Lying, cheating, stealing, addictions, alcohol, drugs, sex. Who the hell are you dealing with, Virgo? Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This talks about toxic behavior, lying, cheating, stealing, addictions here, alcohol, drugs, sex. Especially if you're dealing with a player here. Who's ever putting on this pity play? If you're in the emp if they you're in the Empress energy, you're not taking this shit from this person either. Overall outcome. The Page of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pages are messengers. This is a money message. Pentacles are coins, money. This card is mainly green. She got a green um, headgear, uh, green dress, green plants. She's reaching into her purse. This is a money message. Bottom of the deck, the Page of Wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wands are talking about passion, talking about fire. Um, fire is red, so this card is mostly red. He's got a red um, ribbon on his top hat. He's got a red shirt. There's red flowers. He's got his wand. He's on a swing. This is a passionate message. Now, oh, you found something out. You found something out. Ace of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. Aces are new, new, honest, clear communication. After the end of this very, very painful cycle, the next card is the Ace of Swords, which is new, honest, clear communication coming in. You found something out about probably this player. Which took you out of Hangman's Tree and got, caused you to cut this person out. If you ask me, Nine of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are coins, money. Money's green. This card is mainly green. He's got a green sombrero. He's got a green um, shirt. I don't know what this all... With all this rest of this stuff is, he looks like he's uh, drowning in green. I don't know. I'm single because I'm self-sufficient. I'm single because I can pay my own bills. 
Nine of Pentacles related to the Empress energy. This person is grounded, balanced, stable. A business person makes their own money, takes care of their money. A business person. Grounded, balanced, stable, independent, self-sufficient. This tower card has come out a lot tonight. The tower, Scorpio energy. <clears throat> I keep forgetting it's Scorpio energy. This is the tower. <clears throat> Sorry. The tower, this is a cataclysmic change. Source, spirit, universe strikes down this tower because it was not built on a firm foundation. Of course, this does get you out of the caught between a rock and a hard place energy as well. Source, spirit, universe strikes down this tower because it was not built on a firm foundation. Once the tower falls, you can rebuild, but on a solid foundation this time. And you are a warrior. Nine of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sometimes this person's got a bandage on their head. This person has been through the battle, expecting more of the same. Tired of fighting. There's too much bullshit going on. But the person has the, still has their side, and they're going to fight through this. You are a warrior. You have the strength to get through this time in your life. We've got the judgment. Positive karma for you. Positive karma coming in. End of a very painful cycle. Passionate communication. You are independent, self-sufficient, divine, feminine, maternal, goddess energy. King of Swords. Cutting things out of your life that no longer serve. Money message. Passionate message. New, honest, clear communication. Independent, self-sufficient business person. And you are a warrior. So, there, somebody, I think this player, um, I need your, the pity play from this player. Um, I need your help. Um... They have time for you when they want to talk to you, not when you need to talk to them. And uh, they're running around all over town. They're toxic. Liar, cheater, thief. Person has addictions. You were caught between a rock and a hard place. The tower fell. And I think you cut this person right out of your life. If you haven't, you need to. Especially if you're in the Empress energy. You don't need this kind of crap in your life. Oracle cards. Regeneration. Regeneration. Moving forward. It's kind of like death and rebirth. End of the painful cycle. Beginning of a new cycle. Moving forward. Flexible. Be flexible. Be flexible but cut this person out imagine imagine all the beautiful things that can happen when you cut this person out this talks about healing as well I like the moon here imagine imagine how great your life will be without this person pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you player energy toxic energy Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You don't deserve this uh, toxic energy in your life. You don't. The fool. Look at this. The start of a brand new beautiful journey. Taking a leap of faith. Yes. Moving forward. Moving forward. A brand new beautiful journey. The tower. Second it's like the fourth time the towers come out tonight. The tower. This is a cataclysmic change you cannot prepare for. Source Spirit Universe strikes down this tower because it was not built on a solid foundation. Once a tower falls, you can rebuild, but on a solid foundation this time. Am I missing a card? I think I am.
credit like that. Okay, this person uh -oh, um, deals in pity plays, tries to make you feel bad for what they're doing. They are a player. They are toxic, liar, cheater, thief, addictions. I don't know why you're caught between a rock and a hard place. The tower fell. You cut them out of your life. And good, up, good for you. Karma. You're getting your positive karma by cutting this person out. End of a very painful cycle. Passionate communication. You are the empress. Independent, self-sufficient, divine feminine, maternal, goddess energy. King of Swords, you cut this person out of your life. Money message. Passionate message. You got new, honest, clear communication about this person. Uh, independent, self-sufficient business person. I'm single because I'm self-sufficient. I'm single because I can pay my own bills. And you are a warrior. You are a warrior. You will get through this. Regeneration. Flexible. Imagine. I'm surprised the hermit didn't come out. Work on healing. Work on healing. Pay attention to the red flags. Religious factors. Express your love. Not to this player. Uh, the fool. And the tower. All right, Virgo. Moving forward. Cut this player out of your life. You are the goddess. New honest, clear communication. And you are a warrior and you will get through this. All right, Virgo, have a great rest of your day. This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. Bye for now.